based company has been working with us. May I request Sanjay, English Helper CEO, to say a few words. Thank you, uh, RCM, and good afternoon, everybody. This is cricket season, so I have to uh, allude a little bit to that particular game. A great man named Kapil Dev. I had a good, I had an opportunity to have coffee with him, and I did ask him about the 1983 Wave Bridges catch, and that's for a separate time. What he said to me, uh, another story which is very interesting. He said, at the 100th, 100th MCC Centenary Celebration of the Lords, uh, he was a guest of honor and he was asked to speak and he stood up and he said uh, to the predominantly British audience I don't know whether I love you or I hate you I love you because you gave me this wonderful game of cricket which I love with my body soul mind and which has made me everything but I have to hate you because you make me speak in English and he says I can't figure out why two words with the same one word with the two words with the same spelling have two different uh, pronunciations. He said that's not cricket. So uh, if you think about it, uh, around the world, that's the problem people are facing with English. Uh, it's an arbitrary language. And over the last few years, actually working in partnership with ILNFS, we have silently touched uh, more than a million students across thousands of government and government-aided schools here in India. And the way we have uh, solved for their problem, their challenge is by using technology. We've integrated their textbook onto technology that is multi-sensory. And when a student in class hears the word repeated, sees the word that is repeated, understands the meaning by clicking on a button and seeing a picture or a local translation, suddenly English becomes easier. Becomes easier for the teacher, becomes definitely more e easier for the student. But how do we expand this? And while we can increase the school footprint, at best, uh, a challenging effort, given that we have to work with the public system. What Genio represents is taking the classroom to the student. And I think that's what's uh, fascinating about Genio. We're at an early stage. Surya talked about version one. I think as the next versions come, you're going to see from us a bunch of intelligent technology, not just to help the kids uh, write, but also to help them build concepts around what they read and comprehend, and maybe push their critical thinking. And finally, um, RCM and, and the ILFS team, congratulations. You cannot do something like this without building collaborative capacity, without connectional intelligence. So it's a real pleasure to be part of this team, and I'm delighted to uh, think about what lies ahead of us. I think we will definitely make Indians proud. Thank you. We have also partnered with uh, Avanti, a startup, and which specializes in teacher videos and test preparatory. Akshay Saxena is here. Then, comrade, please come. One of the very well recognized educational technology startup, Akshay. Hi, very happy to be here. And uh, I think what I do want to uh, call out is one of the big reasons we're really excited to be part of the Genio platform. Uh, is once again around the notion of democratizing access to high quality content. Um, you know, for, for the last six years, we've largely been working in you know, low income communities in many, many rural areas, uh, helping kids prepare for the IIT JE as well as uh, learn science and math in government schools. And uh, one of the biggest challenges we faced is outside of the, the systems of the structured government system where a teacher delivers content, there's very few ways in which you can reach rural students as well as reach children who are not necessarily very wealthy with high quality content. And I think what I'm most excited about and what we are at Avanti most excited about is the opportunity to be able to give many, many more lakhs and lakhs of students access to our content and also do it in a way that's affordable uh, and uh, addressable through many of the technological tools we have now around machine learning, adaptive learning and so on and so forth. So very excited to get our content in the hands of many, many more kids. and. Uh, like everyone said, this is version one. I'm really excited for what comes after. Thank you. Assessments and adaptive learning are the buzzwords. There's a huge amount of work that has been done by educational initiatives, the Ahmedabad-based, very, very well-known organization. Many people tend to uh, look at educational initiatives and island of education as competitors. 
then we said, look, we are not competitors. We can complement and do something good for the larger community. Srini Raghavan, CEO of Educational Initiatives, who has kindly agreed to collaborate and bring their 20 years of research work onto the table. Srini. Good afternoon, everyone. Firstly, RCM and team, congratulations. I think this is a tremendous initiative and very well conceptualized and built a solution that's going to scale immensely and we'll see a lot of children using that across India. Now, a few things that I would like to say is, um, you know, we talk about India being a diverse country. Now, where do you see it most? You see it most when you go visit schools across the nation. You know, and when you go across schools to private institutions, when you go to the government schools, when you go to, you know, different curriculum schools, it's amazing the kind of diversity that you see here. And, uh, you know, addressing that kind of diversity challenge uh, and helping children across board learn can happen only with, in two ways. Number one, you need some platform that can reach out to all the kids, wherever they may be, whatever curriculum they may be from, whichever language they may be comfortable with, and whatever their level of understanding is. And it can be addressed by excellent content that is curated, developed, and very well customized for each and every child that is using that content. And I think that is where we see EI and uh, uh, ILNFS and Genio partnering and creating this amazing opportunity. I think the scale is humongous. We cannot under underestimate this. Uh, we are talking of challenges which on, on one side opportunities and on the other side challenges which are uh, you know un unimaginable. Uh, we have bright children, we have extremely gifted and talented children that are in abundance in India. You know, it's the sheer population which amazes you, you know. And they can achieve so much more than they are able to achieve today if given the right, right platform and right avenues. And then there are children who have zero access to education, but when you go meet them, when you go talk to them, it takes a few minutes to know that they are truly smart. And they need that access to be able to, you know, scale and realize their potential you know, and at whatever level that may be. And that will happen through this kind of a partnership. And I think it's a great initiative. It's not only the fact that you have developed such a platform in Genio. It is also the fact that you are bringing together, uh, you know, people who think alike. You are bringing together mindsets that want to solve this problem. And that is what will see uh, a sea change. Uh, going forward in the next 5 to 10 years. So congratulations, RCM, congratulations to the team, and thank you very much. We look forward to a great partnership. And different, uh, different teachers talk about teach a particular subject, different methodology. Different solution providers offer different, different concepts. But mind map is the kind of pedagogy tool that connects the concepts. So the adaptive, the digital mind maps, mind maps that connects the concept to concept, are, uh, that's very, very essential when you are curating and putting in diversified content. And we partnered with CEO Educe, uh, Koteshwar Rao, and for the mind maps, Koteshwar Rao. Good afternoon. Uh, before starting, I would like to utter some words. Let's see what is that comes to your mind. Mango, Mumbai, sweets, Shah Rukh Khan. As I was saying these words, I don't think none of us got the spelling to our brain. We got that respect to images. So this shows that whatever that we learn, we store in the form of images. Similarly, if we can serve the brain or during learning anything in the form of images or image oriented, it's going to be have a lot of impact on the student. So there could be a great learning. So we adopted brain friendly ways like colorfulness, having a lot of images and the uh, having organic structure, non-linear organic structure in it and keywords and uh, organized information. So hence that would help students to learn better. So having this content and uh, we are very happy to be part of uh, this uh, great initiation and uh, happy to contribute to the uh, bigger uh, 
uh, vision of uh, Let Smart Learn Easy. Thank you. As you might have noticed, and it's truly, truly collaborative. And uh, the idea is to bring in the best, but very simple to learn and very easy to access on any device, anytime. There is a logic behind everything that's being done around. And to begin with, 9th and 10th, English, Science and Maths are being launched. Next version would have uh, uh, additional classes. Also, the machine learning, artificial intelligence, those layers are also being added. So what we would like to see over a period of next six months, and every three months you will see next evolution, next version of this. And this being launched in the August presence of Director IIT Mumbai, I consider sir is very auspicious. And the KN that we jointly designed is truly, truly transformational. It has acquired its own place in this uh, uh, many alternatives of education technologies. Similarly, we hope that Genio will be truly, truly remarkable solution. And with your August presence, that will be, be considered very auspicious. May I request you to kindly say a few words, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm really pleased to be here at I what I consider to be quite a historic occasion for ILNFS education. ILNFS has been a pioneering company uh, getting into a very wide variety of areas and they've made a big impact in education as well. Uh, I'm really happy that uh, Kian, one of their flagship products was designed at IIT Bombay uh, by one of our colleagues, Professor Kirti Trivedi, and he also contributed to many different versions of that. Uh, Experiments was mentioned, and uh, though I did not, uh, uh, you know, sort of release that product, it was in fact released at IIT Bombay in my presence by Dr. Anil Kakotkar, uh, who was the chief guest of that function. So I'm glad that I am here today uh, when another major milestone is being crossed for ILNFS education. You know, I think that you know, in our country, the number of people who are seeking education at the school level is in hundreds of millions. Uh, so, the demand for this kind of product is immense. Uh, from what I've seen, it looks like a very easy to use product and it looks like there is very solid technology at the back end uh, which will help students. I think for it to be very widely used, one thing that I'm sure you must be thinking of is to see how it can go into other languages. And of course, another thing is how the mentor network can be very strong. Uh, I remember going to a lecture by the founder of uh, Coursera. You know, it's one of these pioneering MOOCs companies. So Andrew Yang Eng, Andrew Ng was giving this lecture and he said that when the telegraph came, they said, okay, now with this new technology, we don't need any colleges or schools because all the material can be sent by telegraph directly to the student and they can learn. Then when the radio came, the same story, television, they said, okay, all lectures can be beamed live and so forth. Then, of course, you would have, uh, you know, heard about uh, this computer-based learning. You know, the CDs were there, the internet came. So at each stage, I think we're getting closer and closer to the students. But we do need somebody, uh, you know, a human presence at least, who can help the student, guide the student. So if there's a strong mentor network, I'm sure that this product will do very well. I wish uh, all the partners of this uh, enterprise all the best. 
congratulations on what you have achieved and i am sure that you are looking forward to doing a lot more together uh, places like iit bombay uh, have been quite involved in these areas and uh, we have been of course though looking at college level education we have been trying out many experiments which i am sure uh, we will be very happy to share uh, with iron fs and i invite all of you to interact with us but i'd like on this occasion uh, to wish you all the best and i hope that genio becomes a very universal platform that millions of students in the country access all the best thank you thank you very much sir right now we have the mentor network of running into uh, uh, several dozens of uh, the individuals and actually with your cooperation would like to reach out to iit campuses and enrolling even the masters degree and graduate uh, degree students to be the mentors i think that's a powerful network can be very it can be a win win situation we'll seek your guidance on this sir uh, may i now request mr harish mr harishankaran vice chairman the chief mentor and inspiration for this whole our technology led initiatives hari Friends, this is a very important uh, day for IETS. Alps Education has decided to embark into the B2C space. Uh, last 20 years, it's built superb content, and a phenomenal team of educators looked at the market to see how to improve schools and what's happening in classrooms. Now they're going beyond classrooms into the homes of students to see how they can help students at home when they want, where they want, how they want. So let me use this occasion to thank you for the support we've had so far, uh, Professor Kakar. Thank you very much for your kind words. We look forward to partnering with you as we go forward in the future. And may I wish Genio and the Genio team all the best going forward in the future. Thank you very much. Hari is too brief. Mentors need to be a little more elaborate. <laughs> Thank you very much, Hari. And uh, now the uh, I request our chairman, Mr. Ravi Pasarde, to formally launch the solution of Genio. Thank you, everybody, for being with us today. I'll just say one word because I don't want to. Over to the speech, but we've done a lot of speeches already, and I think for once Hari uh, was witty by being brief. But Asim did mention that uh, we had launched Schoolnet 20 years ago. So we had actually used Explorer for this. I'm not going to tell you what that was. One of the first um, lessons that I went through personally when we were putting that together. And maybe we were before our time, or maybe the rest of the technology ecosystem had not come into being. But perhaps now we are at the right time. And I wish you all the best, Asya. What do I do now? so the, as you see it the student can access either mobile or chromebook laptop tab this is the kind of uh, home base that they look at the student can choose the board the specific to the board also addressing your language suggestions sir and going forward we'll putting in different languages any textbook 
can be made the, uh, the same. In any case, ILFs education has lang content in several languages. It will be uh, multiple languages, multiple boards, and the best thing is the government is also trying to get the common curriculum. So across the boards, curriculum would be good. And uh, then the student can access the supported by mentor. We also can come up with very strong digital and social media marketing campaign and uh, supported by Cool Fire, another startup, Hyderabad startup, which is helping us in taking the social marketing. I request uh, Professor Mal uh, Dr. Malhotra, our uh, director on IETS, to come and launch our digital marketing campaign. Of Thank you, RCM. This is the Facebook page of Genio. Today is honestly a very big day. Co collaborating in education is never easy, but the way it has been done, each uh, of the partners are complementary to each other. And uh, hearing uh, uh, Srinivasan from uh, educational initiatives, they were also pioneers in this and they made a lot of impact on school children. And it's nice to see that, not as competitors, but as complementary to each other, okay, all of them, in some manner or the other, is going to make Genoa such a beautiful thing. Okay, it's maybe a matter of a decade would be a long time, but I think in the next five years, we'll see a lot of changes in the system of education in the country. Thank you once again, RC. Wonderful. Thank you very much, sir. We have set up an experience zone here.